What's up everybody, it's your boy Chop here, and today I wanted to talk about the dead ODST on the mission Cortana in Halo 3. Now, when I was going through this mission again, and I saw this guy just laying there, I thought to myself, who is this guy? And just how did he get here? So, I looked on YouTube, and I didn't find anything on this guy. So, of course, your boy had to pull one out, and you know, actually dig up the dirt on our ODST right here and so that's what we're going to be talking about today let's get into it this right here is Jonathan Kurtz an ODST also doubling as an agent for the office of naval intelligence born on the planet reach in 2520 Jonathan's family had a long history of military service and when he became of age, he just joined the UNSC. Not because he felt like he had to, but it just felt right. He joined the Marines, fighting the Covenant in multiple battles throughout the Halo universe. Jonathan was described as a highly skilled Marine, becoming quickly familiar with just about any weapon he possessed, was an excellent shot, and had reflexes that were quote, off the charts. And because of his prowess in battle, Jonathan was recommended to the ODSTs, as well as being sort of scouted by the Office of Naval Intelligence, where he excelled at being an orbital drop shock trooper and a special agent for Oni, completing whatever black ops they had him going on. Because of his skills, it's theorized that Jonathan was a member of the Spartan 1 program, but I found no evidence to support this. Now that we know just who he is, what the hell was he doing in the flood infested high charity? Well, as it turns out, Oni knew that Cortana was on high charity. And when high charity crashed into the Ark during the battle for the Ark, while Chief was still occupied stopping Truth from firing the rings, Oni secretly pulled Jonathan from the front lines and gave him his new orders. He was to infiltrate High Charity and bring back Cortana to them. Now, I know it's kind of weird and it seems kind of strange. Why would Oni be interested in getting Cortana? And why not just send in Chief like he does later? Well, it's possible that Oni knew somewhat about the Logic Plague, the Forerunner thingy majiggy whatever you want to call it <laughs> that had infected the forerunner ai mendicant bias in the forerunner flood war and perhaps they wanted to get their hands on cortana before chief did to perhaps study this logic plague and i assume that oni knew that chief and cortana had built up a little bit of a relationship and wanting to study cortana may not have been down with Chief. Another theory that I have, which I can definitely support, is uh, that they were just after the uh, fabled blue coochie. They probably saw my, uh, my video. <laughs> now, Jonathan being the stalwart soldier that he was, didn't really question orders. He just went in and he did his job. And for being just a normal human being, he got surprisingly far considering how much flood was in High Charity. And he also didn't have a super soldier suit like Master Chief did and protected him. I tell you, his actions are definitely commendable. He made his way in on High Charity on a pelican, but was shot down just before he landed and his pilot was killed. Nevertheless, our boy waded through all those horrible waves of flood and pressed onward for his objective. He was most likely just after that blue coochie. Jonathan pressed on killing hundreds of the infected in high charity, but eventually the flood hordes proved too much for our boy. And low on ammo and nowhere else to go, he grabbed a flamethrower and made his last stand. Can we get an F in the comments from our boy Jonathan, who didn't get any of that blue coochie? And sadly, this is all we have on record for our boy Jonathan. Although his mission may not have been the noblest, he will always have my respect. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I 
really was interested in learning about this ODST, but when I looked him up, I didn't find any actual, uh, lore. <laughs> Other side note is, I know that I, um, I do a lot of these sort of quote-unquote lore videos where I just kind of go and make up some bullshit and call it lore. <laughs> but I was thinking because I may not always do the best job on these things, that if you guys ever think that something should be added to these lore videos, don't be afraid to put it in the comments section, and I will definitely look at it, and whatever I think is pretty damn good, I, I will consider canon in my fake Halo lore video. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just a little tidbit for you guys, fun way to interact with y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you learned something, like if you liked it, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>